win for both teams. Maganda yung action ay bibigay na itong dalawang team ito for sure. And you can hear the crowd chanting. Hindi pa na the jump ball. Ito ang bola as EAC gets a first crack at the basketball. For EAC, what they want is to avoid that fast break opportunity para rito sa LPU. Tapos pinutahan ka agad nila si Kursisa. Alam naman natin, pagdating ng scoring, Kursisa yung nahanap. Pero ito na nga, we will expect a fast-paced game, lalo na rito sa LPU. On cue, as soon as we talk about the fast break points, here it is, Villega scoring off a layup. May kasama pang foul. Uh, may ibang games ako pinanood kong Villegas. Ano ba, career high siya ng uh, mm -hmm. around 26 points. Ang galing kuminis niya ito sa break. Left and right. Very quick player. Lumilipad din talaga ito si uh, Villegas. Ano? As LPU now up by three early in this game. EAC will try to get Paxan one. Paxan Han going. Misses on the first attempt. Nice set of play, sayang din lang pumasok. Sorry miss for Pagsanan. Kunana gets it to Villegas. Montano on the post. A steal here by EAC. Gurtiza running along with the Chapo. Fakes. Gurtiza. Pinoy step is good! What a move, what a move. And we will have our first report from Yen Supanyan. The only thing standing between the EAC Generals and history is the LPU Pirates. The same goes for the latter as the Generals are on a mission to cause a detour to LPU's road to redemption. Coach Gilbert Malabanan of LPU said that his team dedicated his last training session yesterday to 25% drills, 25% setting up offensive plays, 25% setting up defensive plays, and 25% shooting. And for those waiting to see JM Bravo, he is suited up and he says that he is at 200%. Sabi nila mahalaga sa kanya, bumalik kayong araw dahil kailangan siya ng LPU at gusto niya ipakita ang kanyang discipline sa laro. Meanwhile, Coach Gerson Tabiltes of EAC shares that yesterday was dedicated to 30% viewing, 30% conditioning and shooting, 30% running the opponent's plays, and 10% running offensive plays. Both lineups are complete, so let's see who overcomes this crucial battle. Now back to you, Nico and Coach Ralph. That's how important this game is. You need to have that full lineup. Yes. JM Bravo is back in the team. If he's gonna play today, he's in uniform. But when I was talking to the assistant coach, uh, MC Caceres, he said that he's the puzzle of the kids. We can see that the injuries are really scared. But he's willing to sacrifice his self for this game. That's how you make a legend. LPU down by one, four to three. Kunana gets it to Montano, gives it to the corner. Villegas from the outside. Malakas as a Villas scores on the putback. Kanda na sa nang zone na pinakita ni EAC. Ang problem talaga ilang ibibigay niyang zone kasi offensive rebound. Good things ah. Bigay ni Ochavo pull up misses, but Ochavo able to get his own rebound. Good piece of fakes, fakes, misses. Good try, right, good try. Right. Tumatakbo na naman ang LPU, Kunanan, pulls up from the outside, let's go! <laughs> Dapat talaga iingatan ni AAC itong transition points eh. Sabi nga ng mga coaches, uh, yun nakapokus talaga sa strength nila, ang AAC, sa transition offense nila. They will run, they will run. One out of four from AAC from the field, three out of four. Para sa LPU, as Pagsanan was fouled on the way up. On the side of, ano man nakausap ko rin si EAC assistant coach Noy Catalan. Yan nga, ikakounter naman nila talaga. It's in transition points. Alam, tumakbo sila, nakalayup kanina si Villegas. Meron naman na transition offense ulit. Uh, Kunana naman from the three. Kailangan talaga yung mga safety nila or pillars na tinatawag, kailangan talaga tumakbo kagad sa defense. No? As Pagsanhan misses on his first free throw. What a zero out of two for Harvey. 
Tatakbo na naman ang LTU. A still no. Almost an interception by Carlos Chavo. Those free throws, medyo maging malaking factor yan pagdating ng endgame. Kaya kailangan i-focus din nila yung sarili nila dyan pagdating na sa free throw line sila. LTU has the possession. Villegas pulls up, misses. But the ball was able to get back. There's a foul there. Mula sa KC. As you see this last rebound play. Tita natin for the past few plays. No, past two plays. Dalawang uh, guards na kumukuha ng offensive rebound. Magkakabaliktad ng trabaho ngayon. Pero dapat lahat talaga lahat. kumuha. Correct, correct. Five guys boxing out. Seven minutes, six seconds remaining in the first quarter. LPU up by four. Montano from way outside. No. They can save it. Chavo. Three on two fast break. Pagsanhan was fouled. Nakakuha ng stop si EAC again from the zone. Oh, tama. At least uh, this time nakakuha sila ng rebound. Then nakatagpo sila. Then nice finish by Pagsanhan. Nakakuha ng foul. Hindi lang na-finish pero nakakuha sila ng foul. Pagsanhan is so aggressive early. That's his, uh, that's the second time that he attacked the basket. But right after the misses from the outside coach. First shot was... Nakabawi na sa Pedro. Zero out of two na sa first try. Yep. It's one out of three now. Harvey. One out of two once again. Huwag lang sana singilin. Mamaya na end game. Yes, masakit yan. Look at the defense from EAC. They get the ball back. Pagsadan. Gives it to Cortiza. Cortiza attacks. Loses the ball. LP, you're running. 4-2 fast break. And there's the foul. Fast pace. Fast pace game. Yan ang, ang nakakatakot lang. No? Every time na ganyang kabilis yung game. Ang turnover, napakataas. So, ang mananalo, malaking chance na manalo today, eh yung mabilis pero in control. Mabilis pero they're making right decisions every time they're running the break. Spread na spread, don't you know? As Peña fell now at the line to complete that N1 opportunity. This is also a guy na magaling to finish. Yes. Left and right. He completes that N1. Actually, si Simon, nakala mo, left lang at left sa malakas. Kung i-finish siya ng right talaga, mas malakas ang right na finish na ito si Simon Peñafiel. Generals has the ball. Pagsanhan attacks once again and he scores! Nice finish. Finally for Pagsanhan. Guys, on field goal na. Montano swings it to the right side. They're still playing the zone. EAC still playing the zone. Look at that swing. Montano to the top seven to work with. Kunana misses. Park Sanhan able to get the rebound. Tatagbo ng EAC dito. Fires! Oftana! Ganda ng pull up, no? It's a long pull from Oftana. Cool na cool yung pull up niya eh. Very patient. Hindi nagmamadali. 5 and 25 remaining in the first quarter. Villegas swings it to the left. Montano misses. Oftana able to grab the rebound and he was fouled. I think that's the third stop na nakuha nila sa zone defense nila. No? So, Naging successful yung uh, zone defense na ina-apply ng TAC right now. And here's the attack from Baxan Han. And here's the long two from Montana. And time out muna. Ang Generals magbabalik ang NCAA Season 100. Hello mga kapu 
Puso at mga ka-NCAA, ako po si Yen Supan, isa sa mga courtside reporters ng NCAA Season 100 at nandito tayo ngayon sa Ayala Malls, Manila Bay para sa opening ceremony ng NCAA Season 100 Chess Tournament hosted by De La Salle College of St. Vanille. Ito tayo ng ating score as LPU has the advantage against the EAC Generals and we're still here at the Phil Oil Equal Center in San Juan City. Important game for both teams, Coach Ralph. As we see, Dr. Lorenzo, Lorenzo from uh, EAC Generals from Emilio Aguinaldo College is one of our NCAA man -bombs. 11 to 9, pero Kanina, nakaran ng LPU, sumagot ng mga stop and run ito nga EAC Eagle Trout. High octane game. Very fast talaga yun ang ano natin, expect natin all throughout ng game na to. EAC has the possession, a chance for them to tie the game or get the lead. And to work with for the red shirt, Pagsanhan, gives it to Gortiza from the corner. Misses! Look at the Chavo! What a save there from Kyle! A second offensive rebound natin yung Chavo to. Pagsanhan! Misses! Look at the guy! <laughs> but there was a foul call against the Chavo. But you love the hassle, coach. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-relax kayo, Chavo. Meron siyang nose for the ro those uh, loose balls, those rebounds. Tignan natin kung itutuloy pa rin ang EAC tong show nila. We have a substitution here. 11 to 9 on that new score. LPU has the ball. Bravo is in the game. Yan ang hinihintay natin. Grabe yung puso niya itong bata na to eh. You know how uh, JM Bravo could influence LPU as they miss us. Second chance opportunity. Bravo from the corner. Misses. And the time I'm convert the first attempt. Bravo. Here's Pagsanhan once again. He's having fun. Guadagna now also in the game. That's the second deadlock of the game. Guadagna will fire from the corner. Another miss from the Pirates. Pagsanhan na naman. Running the break and converts. Nine points nugget po. Harvey Paxson playing an inspired ball in this first quarter. Lamang na ang EAC 13 to 11. Kuranan gives it to Guadagna. Eight to shoot Guadagna with a high looper is good. Nice shooter, no? Next pag niya may shot blocker, may rim protector. He just throws the floater. Octana pulls up, no! LPU gets the rebound. Natak pa na si Kunana, gives it to Bravo, and he was blocked! Sends to the wrong man, and Guantana able to bring it up, and scores! Another steal, Kunana! A foul was called again, against Ochavo. That's his second, I think. And look at this uh, drive, sidestep Fury from Paxanhan. And here's another one. Paxanhan doing everything for the EAC. And here's Guadagna high looper off a steal. And Kunana naman giving JM Bravo the assist. But King Gurtiza able to block it. Guadagna, ako pa rin na offensive rebounds. Malaking panghihinayang nila ron, nakastop na sila eh. Ang question ngayon is yung timing ni, ano, uh, Bravo. Bravo. No? So, after play, not playing for a long time, minsan yung timing niya na mahirap ibalik. Pero once na nakuha niya yung first basket niya, malamang magtuloy-tuloy ko. Ato Barbas also in the game. and a strong fight in the LPU. Final, there will be an offensive foul on Oftana. Actually, both teams actually, hindi mo nga masasabi kung sino yung strong fight niya eh. 
both coaches meron mga magic bunot na hindi mo alam kung sino yung ano, mahirap scout. Marami pa niya. Magpapalik tayo dito sa NCAA Season 100. Kilalang kilala ngayon si Carlos Yulo sa kanyang double gold sa Paris. Pero alam nyo ba na mayroon nang naunang Carlos na naglaro sa Olympics na tubong NCAA? Siya'y walang iba kundi si Carlos Caloy Loizaga na nagpa-champion sa San Beda Red Lions ng tatlong beses noong 1950s. Lumahok si Loizaga ng dalawang beses sa Olympics, pati na rin sa Asian Games, FIBA Asia at FIBA World Championships kung saan nagkamit siya. Good crowd we're having today as we have an important game between LPU and the EAC Generals of the Sea. Sir Hercules Calianta, our NCA Management Committee Chairman from the LPU Paris, enjoying this great game. First quarter, Malangyan, with 2 minutes and 49 seconds remaining. Masarap makita na sumusuporta ang mga estudyante ng bawat school, ano? Eh, feel mo na, sabi nga natin, yung final for atmosphere, eto na, nalalapit na talaga. Bravo, attacks, gives it to the corner, swings it to Barba, five to shoot. Look at that ball movement, but they can convert a second chance opportunity for LPU. Bravo! Misses once again. Wala pa rin. Here's the EAC attack. Lucero was fouled. Kanina pinag-uusapan natin, Nico. Kami, different yung style ng mga coaches na to. Pakita natin, first quarter, first five. Wala yung barba. Bravo. Wadanya dito sa side ng LTU. Dito naman sa kabila. Wala sila duromal. Talaga may kita natin na may mga discarpe sila. Okay? And how they trust other players. No? Para minsan kasi ang first five, usually yan yung strong five ko. Yes. Pero iba yung uh, approach na itong dalawang uh, tacticians na ito. Mga napakagaling na coach. Coach Gilbert and Coach Gerson. Kaya nagtataka rin ako kanina. Isa-isang pinapalitan. Barba pumasok. Guadagna pumasok. Okay. Bravo pumasok. Sabi, simula palang ba ng laban? <laughs> As Lucero misses on that uh, first attempt. They're down by three here. Siguro mga four or five free throws na yung namimiss ng uh, Lurito. Lucero one out of two ng EAC. Free throws. Three out of six ang uh, EAC goes. Parma has the ball. Against the defense of Kinal. Barba pick it up. Guadagna fades. Misses. Ganda sana. Hindi lang na-convert. Tatako ng EAC. Gives it to the corner. Kinal from the corner. No. Nice push by Lucero. Nice kick out. Sorry miss. Doon sa corner shot na yun. Moralejo calling a play here. Binigyan ng pick. Binigyan kay Barba sa taas. Tend to shoot. For the gray shirt, Barba, who pairs ahead, a steal here by EAC. Great defense by Bagay, but great top there. We can see, they adjust na naman sa defense EAC from zone. They're playing man. Good stop by Bagay, and also a good stop from Moralejo, stopping the fast break. Kinal from the top. Misses. Here's the LPU attack. Guadagna gives it to the corner. Moralejo pulls up. Yes, sir! Papamatik na yan. Once na nag-miss kayo, kailangan may naka-safety talaga dahil tatakbo at itatakbo ni LPU yun ang bola na yan. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Now bagay at the post. Bagay! Rubs it off to Lusano. Lusano is good. But very unselfish. Very high basketball IQ. Maganda and maganda kay Bagay. Alam niya lang yung role niya. Hindi siya nakikigulo. Barba has the ball. 
in the defense. Itong si Bagay. Guadagna, five to shoot. They're Perfect pitching. Shirts. They're playing pitch defense. Stops, pops, and scores! Pinagbaya ni Guadagna yung switch na yun. He has that. Yeah. Chance for the last shot for the Generals. Lucero, 10 seconds remaining. Lucero attacks. Great drop Stop. pass! Misses! What a pass, no? Basket na lang ang kulang doon sa shot na yun, sayang. What a great pass, pero hindi lang nakuha. And at the end of the first quarter, LPU up by 4, 20-16. Marami pang aksyon, magbabalik ang NCAA Season 100.